Antoinette, Sox and Yankees has all the history. This is a rivalry renewed. We're talking about Zimmer and Pedro, the bloody sock of Schilling, Big Poppy's heroics, and fans are ready. Two baseball fans to hop in the car and take a road trip to Fenway Park. They're Ending spot for now, these camping chairs on Lansdowne Street. So I said, you know what? They got a one game, one and out. Let's take a ride. So we left at 10 o'clock last night, Buffalo, New York, and we got here about pretty early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> these two men, as with so many fans before them, are connected by their love of the game of baseball. Father Dennis. And I got three sons. Greg's one of them. And we're all Red Sox. They're all Red Sox fans. And his son, Greg. Yankees, Red Sox can't be. It's the one of the best rivalries in sports. Rooters of the Red Sox in the heart of Yankee country in upstate New York. They always have one thing to say. They just they say 27, you know, for the championships. I was here in 2004, the World Series, when they got that monkey off their back, but, you know, uh, the curse and uh, against the Yankees, which was awesome. As with so many baseball fans, who you cheer for is a birthright. And when it comes to Yankees and Red Sox, there was simply only one choice. It's just a family family tradition. My grandfather always uh, was a Red Sox fan for whatever reason and passed down to my father and down the generation. When they take off the tarp and play this winner-take-all one-game wildcard matchup, Dennis and Greg hope to get tickets and be in the park. Side by side with their team and with each other, thoughts of past glory on their mind in the present. He says, this is our, you know what, city, okay? And I'll tell you what, that was awesome because it just gave you chills and everybody just went nuts. It gave everybody chills and everybody went nuts. First pitch tonight, 808, there is a great matchup. Nathan Avaldi goes for the Sox and Garrett Cole goes for the Yankees. And if history has anything to say about this, this game's not going to be over much before midnight. We're live at Fenway. Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center.